Kapal Standalone 1 students, welcome to Computer System Servicing Quarter 3, Week 3 to 4. So before we start our lesson, let's take a sort of review regarding the Quarter 3, Week 1, and Week 2 lesson about the network components. If you know the uh, network components, please comment down below your name and the network components you recall. So let's move on. Our next topic is all about network tools, equipment, materials, and testing devices. This is our week 3 and 4 activity for this module. So this under COC2, Setup Computer Networks. So before we proceed to these uh, tools, let's uh, know first the different objectives. Number one objectives, we learn different networking tools, materials, testing devices. Number two, familiarize different networking tools, equipment, materials, and testing devices. The objective number one, it talks about how you learn and manage and know the function of these tools. And number two, you need to familiarize, apply it, and also uh, use these tools as your um, materials in your networking. First tools natin is network tools. So under the network tools, we have the crimping tool. What is crimping tool? A crimping tool is a tool designed to crimp or connect a connector to the end of the cable. For example, network cables, uh, phone cables, uh, using crimping tools to connect RJ45, RJ11 connectors to the end of the cables. So we use the what we call UTP cable or the unshielded twisted pair. So later, makikita nyo rin yung cable na yun kung anong itsura niya. And then, in example uh, pictures, makikita nyo dun sa ating uh, crimping tool sample. So, itong kulay red, makikita nyo meron siyang tinatawag nating wire stripper. Capable for that kind of wire, the UTP cable. So, it also used the RJ45 and the RJ11 pins. So, ito yung ginagamit natin to crimp the uh, RJ45 and the UTP cable. Next, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, the wire stripper. This uh, tool is designed to remove the protective covering of the cable to expose the inner wires. So, meaning, uh, ginagamit lang siya for the cables. Like, uh, this wire. If you want to remove the outer covering of this wire, you can use this wire stripper. Sir, pwede ba gamitin yung uh, crimping tools? Uh, ginagamit lang crimping tools for the UTP cable only. Unlike this wire stripper, you can use this wire stripper to any kind of wires. Depends upon the size of the wires. Because different wires come in a different shape. There are dozens of different wires stripper available. The picture shows an example of wire stripper which strip a cable by placing the cable in between blade of one ridges and then spawn around the cable until the jacket can pull up. So, tinatanggal niya yung uh, outer covering para makita natin yung copper. Okay? It depends upon the length of your uh, needs na copper. Next, an uh, another network tools, we have the electric hand drill. So, what is electric hand drill? Electric hand drill is fitted to cutting tools attachment or driving tools attachment. So, kaya nga tinawag siyang electric hand drill kasi ito yung ginagamit natin to boring a hole. So, meron siyang tinatawag nating drill bit. Kaya yung meaning dyan is meron siyang with drill bit. Yan. So, ito yung ginagamit natin to make a hole or make a, a hole to pass the wire to another side. So, next. We have the networking equipments or the network equipments. So first equipment natin is the network uh, or the patch panel. So what's patch panel? So patch panel is a device or unit featuring the number of jacks, usually of the same as similar type for the use of connecting and routing circuit for monitoring, interconnecting, testing circuit in a convenient, flexible manner. Patch panel are commonly used in computer networking, recording studios, and radio television. So, kaya nga tinawag siyang patch panel, marami siyang num ng number of jacks or yung insert na ng mga RJ45. Pwede natin siyang tawagin as a patch bay, patch field, or a uh, jack field. So, ito yung 
uh, patch panel natin. So, I will show to you the picture of the patch panel, front and the back. So, in the front panel, makikita natin yung different kinds of uh, jack or number of jack na meron silang uh, station. So, station 1 hanggang station 46. Meron mga patch panel na hindi naman ganyan karami. Merong patch panel na 1 to 16 lang sila. Merong 1 to 32. So, depende do sa dami ng network na gagawin natin. So, ano yung dapat natin tandaan dyan? So, tinatandaan natin dyan, yung insert lang natin is not uh, uh, cable wire. No, hindi lang yung mga ordinary cable wire. Kung di, yung new TP cable with the RJ45 or the network cable. So, yung network cable, naka-attach dun sa mga uh, jack natin. And then, dun sa likod, naka-attach naman yung wire ng UTP cable natin. So, pero, meron tayong sinusunod na color coding to make sure na aandar yung ating network. Next, we have the network hub. So, network hub is the most basic networking device that connects multiple computers or other network devices together. Unlike network switch, a router, a network hub has no routing tables. So, hindi siya nagbabasa ng mga IP address, kundi nagre-repeat lang siya ng IP address. A network hub has no routing tables. Wala siyang intelligence on where to send information. No? Hindi siya pwede mag-broadcast ng information kasi kukuha lang siya ng information dun sa mismo pinakuha niya kasi hindi siya digital. Pero merong mga digital dyan. Ito yung susunod natin. Ito yung tinatawag nating network switch. A network switch also called the switching hub, bridging hub, or the MAC bridge. It's a computer networking device that connects devices together on a computer network by using packet, switching, or receive, process, and forward data to a destination device. So, meron siyang kakayahang magpalit ng mga IP addresses. Meron siyang kakayahan na mag-set ng data. May kakayahan siya kung gano'ng kadaming data ang kanyang pwedeng isend sa isang network. So, depende dun sa mga network switch na bibili ninyo. Kung marami kayong mga computers na isi-set up, you need to use this network switch. Next, anong pinagkaiba naman ng susunod natin? Ito yung tinatawag natin manage switches. Gives more control over your LAN traffic. Offer advanced feature to control that traffic. So, meron siyang kakayahan na i-monitor yung mga cable lines. So, pwede siyang ma-attach dun sa computer monitor para makita natin kung ilan ba ang mga nakakonect doon sa computer natin. Okay? So, ito yung tinatawag nilang manage switches. Uh, communicates with one another such as PC or a printer. And those are typically what we call the plug and play. So, napakadali niya lang gamitin. Kaso, medyo mahal lang siya kasi uh, yun nga, dahil nakaka-monitor siya ng mga networks. Pero, ginagamit ito sa mga big companies like yung mga uh, network companies, yan. So, kung marami yung kanilang mga computers at isa lang yung server na gagamitin nila, so, we need to use this manage switches para mamanage nila mabuti yung kanilang mga networks. So, especially sa mga groceries, yan, yung mga malaking groceries, yung mga pag-patch ng mga cashier, yun yung ginagamit nila is manage switch. Para hindi magkaroon ng interruption, they can use a monitor. Okay? Next, network controller or network interface card or itong I or yung NIC na tinatawag natin. So ito yung inattach mismo sa loob ng desktop computer natin, hindi sa laptop, no? So dinatinatach to sa mismong desktop. Meron siyang slot na tinatawag nating PCIe. So kung natatandaan niyo yung pass module niyo, meron tayong tinatawag na PCIe kung saan kino-connect natin yung mga modem card natin or expansion card like audio, network card, video card audio card. So, yung mga yon yun yung dinagay natin. So, ito yung pang-network natin. Kung gusto nyo magdagdag ng additional network in your computer, just buy this uh, network card or network interface card so that you can have your internet access. Okay? Next, we have the network equipment again. We have the raw wireless router. So, ito yung ginagamit natin as a Wi-Fi. So, yung nakasanayan natin, ay, ala akong Wi-Fi yan na. Wala kang, meron kayong Wi-Fi, pero yung nawawala doon is the connection. No? So, yung connection natin sa internet, pero meron kayong Wi-Fi. Yung Wi-Fi na yun, gumagamit siya ng device. Um, it's a device that performs the function of the router and also includes the function of wireless access point. So, meron siyang dalawang function. No? Meron siyang LAN, 
dun sa gumagamit ng mga cable and also we uh, it has the capacity to have a wireless connectivity it just to provide access to internet or a private computer network it can function in a wired LAN network or in a wireless yun nga sabi ko ninyo, sayo kanina no, ginagamit siya sa dalawang basis, meron siyang LAN or the local area network and meron siyang WLAN or the wireless local area network next, ito naman yung access point wala siyang LAN no, yung pinagkaiba niya kanina, yung router and, or the wireless router meron siyang LAN, pero itong wireless access point only the access point or the hotspot, meron siyang hotspot na tinatawag, so only Wi-Fi detects this uh, uh, equipment so, mas magandang gamitin pa rin is yung wireless router than this wireless access point. Bakit nila ginagamit yung wireless access point? Para mag-extend or i-repeat nila yung network. So, ito yung gamit ng wireless access point. Kaya nga, ginagamit din siya as a network equipment. Next, we have also the printer. Siyempre, hindi under yung sa network kung wala tayong ding printer. Yan. So, ginagamit ang printer to print out the result of your uh, of your documents. So, kung gusto mo mag-print along the network, so you can use this printer as a network devices, no? Or network equipment. So, pwede nating i-connect to sa computer and then on the other side through Wi-Fi, through LAN, you can print your own documents. So, ito yung uh, nagbibigay ng printed material sa atin. The two most common printer mechanism are the black and white laser printer used for common documents and color inject which can produce a high quality photographs output. So next, another network equipment, we have the cable tester or the network tester. Ano yung function nito? A cable tester is a device that use to test the strength and connectivity of a particular type of a cable or other wired assemblies. So ito yung ginagamit natin to test the strength the connectivity, kung tama ba yung ginawa nilang cables, maandar ba to, so, detachable yung isa dyan, kung saan pwede natin ilagay doon sa pinakamala yung cable, and then yung isa para monitor kung maandar ba lahat. So, ito yung mga control natin. No? May ilaw siya na 1 to 8 kung saan detect niya yung UTP cable wires para matest yung strength and the connectivity. Okay? So, that's the use of the cable tester. Next, the materials. Network materials, RJ45, uh, yan. So, sa mga ginagamit natin yan para uh, magkaroon ng uh, connectivity yung isang UTP cable. Ginagamitan siya ng crimping tools. Very good. Yung iba dyan, nakasagot na ng crimping tools. So, yan yung ginagamit natin para i-crimp yung mga cables natin. So, short for the register jack 45. So, meron din tayong RJ11 para sa mga telephone lines. Next, we have the modular box. Para sa naman modular box ito? To have extension to the large building, usually placed in a wall. So, meron tayong magkikita sa mga hospital, sa mga groceries na may ganyan. So, parang uh, outlet siya na kung saan merong mga uh, internet cables that you can connect your computers or a laptop for the emergency purpose. Like yung mga uh, kakaroon ng troubleshoot dun sa mga elevator. Yan ginagamit nila mostly kasi they are computerized and they are connected to a network or kung may emergency na kailangan nilang magkaroon ng internet access na mabilis they just put in that modular box so, ito. next we have the raceway so raceway used to have the cover of your wires so ito yung ginagamit natin para makover natin yung mga wires natin so ito yung natawag natin raceway so in the enclosed uh, conduit that forms the physical pathway for the electrical wirings. Mayroong mga flexible hose, like yung mga, uh, yung mga kulay orange na ninalagay sa wire. Pero mostly, sa mga computer, ginagamit natin yung raceway na yan. No? Para ma-protect natin yung mga wires natin para dun sa, sa ulan, yan. So, sa heat, sa humidity, sa corrosion, water erosion, uh, uh, intrusion, yan. Yung mga general physical threats para hindi masira yung network natin. So, makikita nyo sa mga walls, mostly. Yan. Next, ito yung sinasabi ko nyo kanina, is the unshielded twisted pair cable. It's the most center, certainly by far the most popular cables around the world. So, ito yung ginagamit natin. Meron siyang iba't ibang kategory na sinabi ko rin kanina. 
no? Yung category number 1 hanggang uh, 6. So, meron tayong iba't ibang klaseng mga category. Depends upon the speed of the um, memory or speed data rate of the cable. So, meron siyang sinusunod din na data rate. Next, ito yung mag ginagamit natin ngayon as the the fastest cable uh, in the network. So, it's an optical fiber cable or the fiber optic. So, if you are the fiber optic in your house, so, napakabilis ng internet connection mo. It because you have the, the the capacity to carry the lights. So, napakabilis ng lights, di ba? Isang iglap lang, makikita mo na yung ilaw. So, ganun yung concept ng fiber optic. Mostly, do sa mga internet connection natin, from the fiber optic, they are using devices like a modem or router to convert this fiber optic into a LAN or the UTP cable uh, connection. So, the optical fiber elements are typically individually coated with a plastic layer and contain a protective tube suitable for the environment where the cable will be deployed. Different types of cables are used for different applications, for example, long distance telecommunication. Yan, so yung yung mga distance uh, communication natin, they use this fiber optic. Hindi siya gumagamit ng wire. Wala siyang copper, kundi transparent na glass or plastic yung nasa loob niya. So, papakita ko mamaya sa inyo kung anong itsura ng fiber optic from the outer layer to inside uh, of the cable. So, ito yung ginagamit nat natin to high uh, or high 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 natin yung ating uh, data. So, ito yun. Ito yung sinasabi ko nyo kanina. Meron siyang outer jacket, coating, core. Yan, yung parang glasses. Meron siyang glass dito. Yan. So, ito yung pinaka-glass niya. Meron siyang cadding. Yan, yung pinaka-cover ng glass. No? So, susunod, isyo-show ko sa inyo kung paano ginagawa ang fiber optic na yan. And also, the UTP cable. So, meron tayong mga network personal protective equipment or the PPE. So, hindi nawawala ito sa ating mga uh, uh, facilities na kailangan always protect ourselves. No? So, once na nag-network tayo, we need to use this protective equipment like yung protective hardware. When you are boring holes, no? Using the electric hand drills, you need to use uh, protective eyewear or sunglasses. Yan. Para yung mga dashes or yung mga unwanted uh, debris na papasok sa ating mga mata, no, hindi agad makakapasok because it protect by the sunglasses or the protective eyewear. So this gear, it protects our eyes, with, which comes in a many types of depending upon the threats that it should be reduced. So yung mga threats na yan, mare-reduce natin using this uh, goggles or this protective eyewear. Next, we have the gloves. Yan. Meron mga insulator, insulator yung gloves natin. Pwede nating gamitin to para hindi tayo makuryente. So, meron tayong old stores dito. A gloves from uh, uh, oh, Old English Gulf is a garment covering the whole hand. So, ginagamit siya to cover our hand. So, protect uh, our hand to danger. Gloves is covered in the entire hand or uh, fist but do not have separate finger opening or should are called mittens. So, huwag natin hayaan na merong pag-access dyan na mga nakalabas na mga kamay kasi danger din yun. Parang hindi ka na gloves So, we need to use gloves. Next, working clothes. So, mostly working clothes, um, they are very elastic. Minsan, uh, maalisangan sila. No, mainit sa katawan kasi you are covered by these clothes. No? Pero, very safety yung mga clothes na yan para hindi tayo magkasgas or ma magkaroon ng sugat or magkaroon ng aksidente, hindi tayo agad matatamaan. So, that's the uh, personal protective equipment natin. So, that's all sa lesson natin for the networking tools, devices, and testing devices natin. So, magkaroon muna tayo ng assessment. You can answer this assessment by typing the answer in the comment below. First, you need to type your name and then the answer na uh, nasagutan nyo dun sa mga questions natin. Okay? Papakita ko yung mga pictures na yan. No? So, you need to identify the tools, equipment, materials, and the testing devices. Then, just comment below. First, natin, anong tawag natin dyan? Okay. Next. Okay. Next. 
phoenix 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 one susunod ng picture Next, anong tawag natin dito? Ito, pamilyar na pamilyar sa inyo ito. Susunod. Yan. So, you need to identify this uh, meaning. So, it's a device that performs the function of a router and also includes the function of Wi-Fi. So, dalawa yung uh, ginagamit. Yan, pwede siya sa LAN, pwede siya sa Wi-Fi. Anong tawag sa device na yun? Type down. Next, reduce threat produced by small particles light, wind blast heat, and spray uh, or unwanted dashes para hindi malagyan ng dashes yung ating mata. Ano dapat susunod natin? Next, it's a peripheral which makes a persistent human readable representation of the graphics or text. Ito yung nagpaproduce ng text or graphic on a paper. Next, device that used to test the strength and connectivity of a wire or the UTP cable. So, ito yung ginagawa natin pag-connect kung tama ba yung ginawa natin. Next is an enclosed conduit that forms the physical pathway of electrical wiring to protect the wires. Next, short for register jack 45. Anong tawag ba? Maliit. Next is a garment covering the whole hand. So, kanina. Next, please answer this uh, essay. So, what is the importance of proper use of networking tools, materials, and devices, and equipment? Just type your answer in the below of the, this video. So, the comment section. Okay, thank you very much. God bless and keep safe, everybody. Thank you.